I feel blessed to be honored by Hebrew College this, in their centennial year. A hundred years, can you imagine? A hundred years. And I see a little cycle here because my mother went to Hebrew College. It was called Hebrew Teachers College at that time. And now I graduated from the master's program in Jewish studies. I'm a, an adult learner. I might have graduated a while ago, but every week I take many classes. Hebrew College does that. They're able to have a uh, places and teaching environments for adults to learn. We are able to grow and expand our horizons, turn things in and out, re-examine things. It's really exciting how we can how we can explore and find new ways of seeing. We, with my committee, we established the Arts Initiative, and now we have a gallery, and it's all about our permanent collection and the collection of. Um, contemporary artists that have studied in the school, who are rabbis, who are affiliated with the school. It's very exciting because their backgrounds, they might all study here, but their backgrounds are from Israel and Poland and um, South Africa and, and Argentina. And we all come together and we can sit and, and look at how people show their love of Torah. Uh, when Rabbi Sharon accepted the position of president in 2018, she was given the keys to a nearly bankrupt organization, except there were no keys. Four years later, we're in the midst of creating a new campus for the college. We started with a very classic mid-century suburban temple. To this existing temple, we added a bit of otherwise worthless land. And not to be forgotten, the college donors added $12 million in cash. I want to offer my everlasting thanks to the amazing professional team that signed up for this barn raising challenge. They're clearly a Carnegie Hall quartet of wizards. Penn Goodman, my working partner for 40 years on development. Paul Bhutan on the law. Karen Dubrovsky and David Shlinsky on architecture. And Jim Machano and Isabella Runa on construction. You guys made this happen. My involvement at Hebrew College is a natural outgrowth of my interest in and commitment to Jewish education. From an early Maya course at TBZ, to numerous post maya classes, I have participated in many Hebrew college programs over the years. The college, in partnership with CJP, plays a pivotal role in providing adult education opportunities for our community. It is a role I value immensely. The rabbinical school, a newer addition to the Hebrew college mission, has proven to be a great benefit to Jewish communities across the country as graduates take positions in Hillel's, synagogues, and other Jewish institutions. I am proud to be supporting Hebrew College, an institution with a long reach and lasting impact. The entire Jewish community is greatly enriched by all that you do. I attended a modern Orthodox elementary school in Brooklyn, New York, the Yeshiva of Flappish. Among other things, we learned that the Torah was written by Moses as dictated by God. Imagine my dislocation a few decades later when in my first Hebrew College adult education class I learned that the Torah was written by real flesh and blood human beings. But there was an elegance to that perspective, a truth to it. Now it wasn't the truth, it was a truth that made sense and resonated right along with the truths of traditional Jewish practice. I realized that the college was committed to educating Jews in the United States in the 21st century, but the college did teach extensively about the views, history, philosophy, and perspectives of those prior generations. For me, the college's educational mission embraces that 3,000-year-old legacy but it does so with a critical eye. I've been able to support the college's mission by drawing on my skills and experience in the business and legal worlds. It's been a real opportunity to be able to support the college, and I feel honored to be able to do so. I was born and grew up in Japan in a Buddhist family. Through Mark, I became curious about Judaism and its culture. 
Because my musical background, I have learned lots of Jewish songs, and then I started to see the world differently. Mark is very spiritually connected to his Jewish and its principles, and he's very thankful to Hebrew College for the role it has played in his life. And talking about that, I guess if I would stop with where did it all begin as far as my affiliation with Hebrew College? Well, believe it or not, and I still am somewhat incredulous myself, it goes back over six decades. When I was 12 years old, I was one of the youngest along with Rabbi Korf, uh, Rabbi Ira Korf, the Grand Rebbe, that entered into the pros doors first class in 1960 at 12, both of us. I think what the college inspired me to try to be, and I'm still endeavoring to reach this goal, is to be a mensch. What was it that one had to do or comport himself as in order to be classified as a true mensch? Which to me at that time, and still is, is the ultimate compliment. I learned that, you know, to go back to the three familiar words that resonate and have been with me for these years, these decades, I've learned tefillah, teshuva, and sadaka. Those are the three things that are constantly reinforced in my mind as the ways, the venue towards Menchkite. Hebrew College to me has been a beacon in my life, as I'm sure and, I, and I've seen from my various capacities as a volunteer, it's been a beacon of education in lighting the way for both young and mature minds.